Okay, so hey guys, this is going to be cheeseburger soup, and what we're gonna use is two pounds of hamburger. We're gonna use a onion, which I already had chopped up um, like this, diced it, and we're gonna use some Velveeta, which I'm not a huge fan of Velveeta. I think it's just weird that um, a cheese product can just sit on your shelf and be okay with that, but I had this and I wanted to use it up, so I'm just gonna use that. I have some chicken broth, I have some bacon, and then I have two packages of just the shredded hash browns. You can use the cube hash browns, or you can even use regular potatoes, um, whatever you guys want. Like I said, I just had some of these um, ingredients just laying around that I wanted to use up, and I just figured I'd come up with this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my hamburger, and I'm going to fry it with the onion. Okay, so I just have my hamburger, and I threw my onions on top, and I'm just going to fry that up. While my hamburger is frying up, I'm going to take this Velveeta, I guess, out of this box, and I'm just going to cube it. And I'm going to throw it in our crock pot. So it just melts easier. Okay, so I cubed the whole um, package of the Velveeta cheese, and it looks like that. After that, I'm going to stick my chicken broth in the crock pot as well. This is a 32 ounce. So I'm going to stick that in there. Okay, so while my hamburger is still frying, I'm going to stick this on my crock pot on low just to um, get it to start to melt. I'm going to throw some seasonings on my hamburger while it's still cooking. I just use garlic powder. Okay, so I'm just going to add my onions and ground beef into my cheese mixture. Hamburger is in there. I'm just going to give it a little stir around. My cheese isn't completely melted or anything yet, but it's getting there take my bag of shredded hash browns and I'm just going to break them up a little bit. These are frozen. Um, okay, and then I'll pour them in there. And again, I'm just going to give it a little stir. I'm just going to throw this on the crock pot, uh, probably on low for a couple hours. Really the only thing you're waiting to get done is the cheese melting and the hash browns. So probably around two to three hours. I will show you what it looks like after it is done. Okay, so the last thing I'm doing is frying up some bacon and I'm gonna make my own bacon bits and just crumble them on top of the cheeseburger soup once it comes out. My son likes to put pickles on his as well. And I will show you what it looks like after it's done. Okay, so here is what it looks like after it comes out, the consistency of it, and it is actually pretty good. So hopefully you guys try it. If you have any questions or anything, definitely just ask. Thanks for watching, and you guys take care.